Okay, I'm heading back for my lunch break and I got another story time. Of course, about Fayetteville, the Fayetteville State University, Bronco Pride, I see you. All right, so I'm gonna go back to 2003. We just came off a historic season going 11 and two. Uh, we made the playoffs against Carson Newman. The second season, we had a good time. You know what I'm saying? We went back to back CIAA championships and we didn't make the playoffs. So we got selected to a bowl game, the Pioneer Bowl. And it was played at the Georgia Dome down in Atlanta. And we was hyped for that. So on the way down there to start the story off, it was bad. We dang on, I think one of the buses broke down. We had to wait for somebody for a couple of hours. Then we finally get down there. Um, I'm just gonna fast forward to the day of the banquet. We had a banquet and whatnot. Everybody's dressed up, you know what I'm saying? They on one side of the banquet uh, room. We on the other side. Our coach gets up there and does a speech and everything because they asked the head coaches to come up and he was like, yeah, we come all the way from North Carolina. We gonna show these boys what we got when we bought a stick. And then they coach went up there and at that moment I knew it was over with. They coach went up there and he was like, yeah, they come from North Carolina, but we from Georgia and we gonna show them about no stick. We gonna bring the stick and we gonna use it. And this whole team just jumped up. Oh yeah. And the banquet. I mean, we got ties on, suits and ties looking good. All them dreads, it seemed like dark skinned and dreads with goals. I said, my God. I looked around at my teammates and I was like, yep, we lost. This is over with already. We ain't even strapped up. I only know what they look like or we only know what they look like in uniform or who's who. All right, so the next day approaches, it's game day. So we loading up, we do our walkthroughs at the hotel. Everything's nice and dandy, it's nice and smooth. And then uh, on the way, we load up our two buses that we had. We started heading to the daggone Georgia Dome. Well, not to the Georgia Dome, we had to go eat first. So our coaches usually have something reserved for us. So they had Golden Corral. So we pull up to Golden Corral on our bus, it's packed. I'm like, man, yeah, we about to eat. You know, the big boys love to eat, tear up that buffet. So we get there and the coaches go in, you know what I'm saying, to check us in and everything. So we sitting on the bus getting ready to get off. And it was like, they came back on the bus and was like, hey guys, we're not eating here. Somehow they gave away our reservations to other people. So we're gonna have to find something else to eat. So we sitting there like, okay, we're gonna be taken care of. You know, our coach is good. They start riding around like, now we're cutting into our time that we'll be getting to the stadium, doing all the other stuff, you know. So we're looking for food, we're pushing our stuff back. So we riding around and they finally pull into a McDonald's. I think we thinking that they about to go ask like directions for this and that. No, sir. No, sir. We was there for about 30 minutes. It seemed like then the coaches come in with a whole bunch of bags, a whole bunch of bacon, egg and cheese biscuits and like the little kids orange juice. That's it. No hash brown. No, no, no parfaits, none of that. No gogurts, couldn't get none of that. They came in there with some bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich. They had that for the whole team. So the whole team, we, we, we sit there, we eat it because we hungry. So we finally get the stuff in our system and whatnot. We head to the Georgia Dome on E. We wind it back. Before we even go eat, the night before, we had curfew. But majority of our team wanted to go to Magic City. They never been to Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? We ain't, we ain't get to travel like that. So, hey, them boys went to Magic City the night before all on the trams, trans am, bus, whatever they call it. They come back with all these stores. They get caught. So these guys stayed out late. We didn't get to eat right. And we proceeded to get killed. And I mean killed coach coming in at halftime. God damn, man, I can't even go back home. My wife and kids seeing this on the damn TV. What I'm going to tell my daughter? I'm going to tell her I got my ass whooped. I wish I can quit, but I can't. I got a contract. We in there. I'm snickering like on the low. He looking at one player and say, man, damn, he whooping your ass. Do you want to quit? The kid looks at the coach and says, yes, coach, I want to quit. He said, well, God damn, I wish I could, but I can't. Until the next story.